breaking news, a proposed landfill is in limbo. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Kess. Developers want some of your trash and recycling to end up in a proposed South Kansas City landfill, but the Kansas City, Missouri mayor is saying not so fast. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener shows us the conflict that is playing out here and in Jefferson City. We're in the Creekmore subdivision just south of 155th Street. You see signs like this all over this neighborhood that say stop the landfill. They do not want it here. Everybody is being impacted by this. It's an impact felt throughout the southern part of the metro. A 430 acre landfill project slated close to Sarah Thompson's home. Nobody's saying don't build a landfill. But what we're saying is not right here. Thompson has led the fight against the landfill in South Kansas City. I built this home in 1994. Rick Myers has too, saying the proposed landfill is too close. Why here is my question. The question hangs, even as Mayor Quentin Lucas on Twitter on Friday put forward a plan to ban the approval of any request to build a landfill in Kansas City until June 1st of next year. It's after legislation stalled in the Missouri Senate that would have killed the landfill proposed by Jenny Monheiser. Why is this the best location for a landfill? Why did you pick this spot? Monheiser has declined to answer questions from KBC 9 investigates or neighbors on why this location is best. Neighbors also say lobbyists influence Missouri senators outside of Kansas City to stall a bill that would have stopped the landfill altogether. It's just not fair that we're not allowed to vote and that we have um, people that aren't impacted from other areas stopping us. Now, neighbors regroup and continue to fight. A little disappointing, but you know, we're, we're still positive in that we're on the right track. Neighbors say they also appreciate the Kansas City delegation of legislators, including Senator Rick Bratton, who filibustered for nine hours Thursday. Neighbors around here say they won't give up. Matt Fleener, KBC 9 News. The developer of that proposed landfill in South Kansas City just released a statement saying we look forward to continue to engage stakeholders to see if our plans can meet the needs of the Kansas City region.